there are folks out there, brilliant people with amazing resources and, and, and learnings about how to monetize your virtue. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm not talking to kids here. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking to all of us. They have got you categorized into, into market segments and market groups from, from zero to 90 years old, and they're finding ways that are so diabolical and so beyond your ability to kind of resist on your own without some real, putting some real constraints in place that, uh, that, that you're being taught from an early age until you die that, that uh, Im immorality is a good thing and that's a happy thing and it's going to make your, make your life better because they make money on that. As, as you're thinking about training youth leaders and parents to have conversations with their kids, and again, this is not just for, about kids, this is about adults as well, mm -hmm. but, but it, specifically in your role working with the youth, how are you thinking about how to talk about the, the dangers and the things to avoid while also talking positively ab about this great gift um, of, of sexuality and, and sexual feelings that, that God has given us. Yeah, that's kind of at the core of the rewrite of the guide for making choices. We used to hold the backdrop up of, you know, can I do this thing? Let me see if it's on the list. <laughs> right. You know, is it, do we have a check mark that allows that or, or, or not? <laughs> now we're at the backdrop against which we hold decisions is, is this going to move me closer to wow. Heavenly Father or further away? Mm -hmm. When we come to develop that relationship with Heavenly Father, we get to a place where we can feel that subtle fall off of the spirit when the spirit can't follow us some places into some movies, into, into some lifestyle decisions. And, and that the absence of that connection to the heavens, when we're getting this right, will drive us back to making better decisions that, uh, that will, will help us to stay close to Him.